Hello everybody, welcome back to the episode, my name is Boss Episode. I'm going to be showing you how you can use the spawner gadget in Rec Room. If this video does help you, please like, subscribe, tap the bell, it would mean so much to me. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. So yeah, enjoy the video. Alright, so the first step is you want to grab your maker pen. You can do this by either A, grabbing uh, behind your neck if you have the maker pen favorited. Or you can do it by going to your backpack. Going to the tools section and then hitting use on the maker pen. That also went right in front of you. You can pick it up. And there's this little black screen on the top. You just want to look at that. And that will open up the maker pen menu. We actually don't need anything in this menu at the moment. But what we do need is we need this in the top left, which is the palette. So we're going to hit open palette. This will open up a whole different menu. Now what you need to do is you want to go to the gadget section. Other gadgets. And you want to go into the second page, hit the spawner gadget, you want to pull the trigger with the maker pen, and that will summon a spawner gadget right in front of you. Um, currently it's on the second page, but as they add new uh, gadgets into, this ga into the game, it might appear on a different page, but it will always be in the other gadgets section. Um, and now that you have that in, we're going to have to go to props. Dynamic, and you want to get a button currently on the first page, but could be on a different page in the future. And now what you want to do is go back to your Maker Pen menu. You want to go to Wire. You want to wire the, um, well, technically it can be any button. I personally like to do the red, which means it will send a signal when it is pressed. But you can also do wall button is pressed, and you can also have when the button is released. Um, I just like to do red because that seems like the best, at least in my opinion. Once they're connected, you want to go to your Maker Pen menu and you want to go to Configure. You want to click on the spawner gadget. And then this will pull up a menu in your palette. And there will be a section called Object. <coughs> when you first spawn it in, it will say None. You want to click on that. And now you have every enemy, any quest, or almost every enemy. Uh, I'll just do the traditional Melee Goblin from Golden Trophy. And maybe like one or two other quests. And I want to spawn in three, so you can do that by going numbers to spawn. Time between spawns is seconds, so we'll have two seconds between each spawn. And apply tag to spawn objects is just basically uh, saying that if you want, you can apply a tag to the AI that you're spawning. So now that we have that, we can go ahead and push the button. Now I'll summon a goblin. And they will follow after me in two second intervals. One will spawn until it gets to three, and then it will stop. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly get a weapon. Don't mind me. Alright. So, you're probably. So, I need to just say this real quick. It might not be moving for you, and there's a reason why for that. And the reason why they're not moving for some people is because you haven't baked the navigation mesh yet. You can do the baking of the navigation mesh by going to this room on your watch, going to the settings icon, AI, and there's AI navigation, and there's a button called rebake nav mesh. Hit that, it'll start rebaking. And once that's done, AI will be able to move around. I forgot to tell you, but I already did that before. Um. But yeah, so, bake the navigation mesh, and then once it's done baking, they'll have, um, a way to move around. And while it's baking, I'll just explain what it actually, like, a nav mesh is. Navigation mesh is basically just this, like, purple mesh that goes all over everything, and it basically tells the AI where it can and can't walk. Um, you can also, if you hit configure on certain objects, you can set it to, um like blocked or like off so it can't walk on certain things but yeah so you'll see it's like purple mesh everywhere um and that's how you know it's done so the ai will be able to move around next thing you want to do is you want to go to your maker pen maker pen menu palette and you want to go to gadgets and then game chips first one should be game rules you want to spawn this in then you want to go to configure, hit configure on that, and then you can do whatever you want. Um, I'm not going to go over all of this because, as you can see, there is currently 
25 pages. So this would take me a while to go over. Alright, so now that we have that all set, um, we can now start the match. Just so you know, um, if like, if, uh, so I already have stuff set. So I'm gonna spawn with a paintball pistol, uh, stuff like that. That is not in this tutorial. I might do that in another tutorial. But this is just showing you how to use that, so don't go in the comments asking how did I start with a pistol, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so now all I gotta do is start the game, now that I have this chip in. Game starts. Game on. I can now go back over here. Let me actually just turn off visuals so you don't have to see the purple. Alright, so I push the button, and it spawns in the goblins one at a time, with a two second delay. And I can now shoot at the goblins, they take damage, they get stunned, and if they hit me, I get out, and then my character will respawn. If the tutorial did help you, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subs, so it means so much if you subscribe. But yeah, that's all I have for you in this episode. If you guys did enjoy, like, tap the bell. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.